All right, Ken in Indiana. What's going on, my man? Welcome to the Bright Side. Brother Ken, you're truly a blessing. I really appreciate you. I love you here in Indiana. I Thank you. A couple, couple questions here. What is up? Good morning, America, and welcome, friends, to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements for other healthcare practitioners, use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health, and well-being into addressing what health challenges for make some they may be, but you don't know where to addition, begin, you have come to the right place. Properties. As you it's listen to the Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practice in pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity. And sugars, skin diseases like eczema, acne, rosacea, psoriasis, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing and renewing and generating system of miracle, but, uh, it really sure is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, in there, we want to hear from you on the break side. Our number is 855-0-4261. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about the longevity products or formulations, 855-660-4261 is your phone number on the break side. Try to get on board early so we can squeeze in as many calls as possible. If you want to purchase the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or the Biolumin Nightly Essence or any of the fine Jetman products that you hear us talk about on the program, the ones I take and the ones I recommend, you can call the Bright Side Vent phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask them about the BTT, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Now, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, fruit and vegetable, multivitamin, mineral complex powder. You add a little bit of water and drink it down. It's a great source of the B complex and vitamin C as well as fat soluble vitamins and minerals and accessory nutrients like bioflavonoids and grapeseed extract and coenzyme Q10. It tastes awesome and it's only 50 bucks a canister. And if you want to start a longevity business, this is your product, your flagship product for starting a longevity business beyond Tangy Tangerine. And you can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or you can head over to brightsideben.com and take a look at our shopping cart or click on the Join the Team link if you so desire to start a longevity business for one time ten dollar fee you make some money selling longevity products and help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program also want to remind you to check out my blog pharmacistben.com which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts and I've got a blog post coming up uh, hopefully today should be up uh, later today a new blog post at pharmacistben.com alright we are talking about the meat the matrix the connective tissue muscle tissue matrix in the body the last program we were talking about skin health routine. and the skin health, the skin's have relationship or skin health's relationship to connective to tissue and muscle tissue. And I want to continue a bit with this important distinction between what I'm calling the meat or the matrix and the connective tissue, muscle tissue matrix and the covering, the coating that covers the whole thing. This is a very, very important distinction that we need to make because people selling us products are not making this distinction. People selling us skincare products especially imply that all you got to do is rub this stuff on the surface of your skin and your wrinkles will go away and your skin will look beautiful and youthful and vigorous and vital like it used to look. And it's not true because the epithelia, the surface, is different. It's distinct from the meat, the matrix, the connective tissue, muscle tissue matrix, which is where wrinkles and fine lines appear. Skincare today, skincare products today, and I've been doing skincare for many years. Skincare products, skincare ingredients are largely about addressing the covering, the epithelia. While most of our concerns, most of our skin health concerns are about the matrix which is composed largely of muscle, uh, muscle tissue, collagen, and sugars. To address skin aging, we've got to address the matrix. And for the most part, with some exceptions, this is done through diet and through nutrition. It's so important, you guys. Wrinkles and fine lines and crow's feet, by the time we 
notice that we're, our skin is starting to thin, and we've got fine lines and crow's feet and turkey neck. I talked about turkey neck on the last program, which is the ultimate manifestation of a connective tissue, muscle tissue breakdown. By the time we notice our turkey neck or our wrinkles or our fine lines, we have a matrix that's been dissolving for years, that's been dissolving for decades, and this simplistic idea that is promoted by soy. Which is where predator skincare companies, I'm sorry to say that, but yes, the predator skincare companies that you can rub this herb or oil or melon extract on your epithelia on the surface and change your connective tissue. This idea is rude, it's nasty, it's greedy, it's offensive. Even if it's a beautiful woman like Cindy Crawford spreading this stupidity and this dishonesty, it's not fair. It's flat out not fair. You can't rub something on the epithelia with a couple of exceptions and expect to get changes in the beef, in the meat. In the muscle and the connective tissue, in the matrix. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about real ways that you can beef up the beef, if you will, that you can thicken the meat, make it more robust, the connective tissue, muscle tissue matrix, using nutrition, using diet, using internal strategies, and a few topical strategies. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the idea of weight bearing exercise for building up the matrix. This is a nutrition show. We talk about nutritional supplements, we talk about diet, but Tomorrow, it's very important to understand if we're going to build up this connective tissue, tissue muscle tissue matrix, which makes up the vast majority well. of the body, folks, have a wonderful, beautiful and certainly the vast majority of our signs of aging or, or meat issues or muscle connective tissue issues, if we're going to really understand how to make ourselves healthy to reverse aging or prevent the aging process from kicking in, we've got to talk a little bit about weight-bearing exercise for building up the matrix. In our last program, I talked about weightlifting. I talked about exercise. And I said all you need is a few minutes a day. Maybe three or four minutes a day, three or four times a week. Remember, the is rest Jessica period Armand. is when the I'm tissue is recovering, so you need to exploit and leverage this rest period. All you need is three or four minutes a day, three or four times a week. I've got a bunch of letters and Facebooks asking me to elaborate. Let me talk a couple of minutes about this idea of time-saving, quick, yet very effective workouts. Most of us don't have a lot of extra time. I know I don't have a lot of extra time in my day, and I want to make sure I'm getting my, my weight-bearing exercise in. I've been lifting weights and doing weight-bearing exercise sizes now for over 30 years, and I don't have a lot of extra time in my day. I get up real early, go to bed late at night, and I'm, my day is packed, but I want to make sure that I get some weight-bearing exercise in. So you can do it in five minutes, four minutes, three minutes. And I want to talk a little bit about the key to a, a, a real effective yet rapid, fast exercise program, okay? So the key here, the most important thing to understand when it comes to weight-bearing exercise, when it comes to shortening your exercise, kicks them is the word intensity. It's all about intensity. You want to be intense. Take weightlifting, for example. And there's lots of different exercises, but we're going to use weightlifting for an example. When we do a, a particular weight-bearing exercise or weightlifting exercise, let's take an arm curl, for example. You all probably know what an arm curl is. You have your arm hanging down at your side. You have a weight in your, in your hand, and you curl. And you do kind of contract your bicep, and you do what's called a curl. What we're really doing when we do a curl is we're contracting our bicep muscle. We're contracting the muscle. And this contraction of the muscle as the weight is being lifted, it puts a load or puts a stress on the muscle, and and this uh, contraction of the muscle as the weight is being lifted and the stress that put, that's put on the muscle, the bicep specifically, creates a sense of resistance in the muscle, and if the stress is intense enough, the muscle will respond by growing. Okay, so far so good. We all understand that. But here's the key. The body is economical, and it doesn't really want to expend energy if it doesn't have to. So for most of us, when we're doing our curls, instead of actually putting a